Hey everyone and welcome. I am delighted to be here with you today. We've got a really exciting announcement that I want to walk you through. But before I do that, I, want, I just want to take a step back and reflect on what is happening in the industry. We are living in one of the most exciting times in the history of humanity with AI. And three years ago uh, is when this journey started with these chatbots that intelligently answered questions for us that almost felt like magic. We're now in the second phase of AI where agents are conducting tasks and jobs for us almost fully autonomously. And it's, it's gonna change every workflow in every industry, in every geography, in every vertical. Now, as we think about moving to this agentic world, we at Cisco have been thinking long and hard about what the constraints and impediments might be that actually hold back AI. And we've actually thought of three that must be solved. The first one is an infrastructure constraint, where we simply don't have enough power, compute, and network capacity, network bandwidth, to go out and fulfill and satiate the needs of AI. The second is a trust deficit. And a trust deficit, what I mean by that is, if people don't trust these systems, they're not gonna use them. And today, these models are rather unpredictable. And we're trying to build predictable applications in the enterprise and in companies and businesses that sit on top of these unpredictable models. And we need to make sure that these models can be trustworthy. So security becomes a prerequisite for adoption for the very first time um, because of AI and because of the nature of the, the, the beast. And the third area is a data gap. And what I mean by the data gap is, so far these models have been trained with human generated data that's publicly available on the internet. We're now getting into the phase where 55% of the growth of data is happening with machine data, and that's only going to accelerate with agents, where machine data like logs and metrics and events and traces, the time series data needs to get correlated with human-generated data so that you can get better insights. And so these three kind of core impediments, infrastructure, trust, and the data gap, have to be solved for, and that's what Cisco is squarely in the middle of helping solve for customers. Now, as we get into this world of agentic AI, trillions of tokens are gonna to need to get generated, which are gonna be at the center of a company's prosperity and economic well-being, as well as a country's economic well-being and national security. And so it's extremely important that as we start thinking about agentic AI, you know, kind of proliferating in the market, that we continue to keep innovating. And one area that we've been doing a tremendous amount of innovation, in fact, we've done probably more innovation in the past year than the previous decade combined, is in data centers. Why is that? Because data centers is where these tokens are getting generated that have become the core currency for society. And so uh, back in February, we launched a smart switch, which allowed us to make sure that we had a revolutionarily new architecture for baking security into the fabric of the network. Then in March, we announced our partnership with NVIDIA, where we had the Secure AI factory that allowed us to make sure that we had a reference architecture and uh, Cisco's networking, security, and observability capability was tied in and integrated with NVIDIA's GPUs so that we could build the Secure AI factory. Then back in October, just recently, we announced a P200 silicon network ASIC chip along with um, a router called the 8223 router. And what this allowed us to do is connect data centers across that were hundreds of kilometers apart to operate like one logical computer that could run a massive training run. Because what's happened over time is these training jobs for, uh, for training these models were small enough where they started where you could actually have this model be trained on a single GPU, but then the models got too big so we started training them on a server with four to eight GPUs. Models got bigger. You then started training the, um, you had a bunch of servers uh, kind of you know, on a rack that were kind of networked together. Then you had those racks clustered together among each other, um, amongst themselves in a data center. And now where we are is data centers themselves are getting connected together to operate as one single holistic computer virtually. And so that's what we've been doing, and there's been a tremendous amount of progress that's been made over the course of the past year, like I said. But we're now in the next frontier, which is inferencing capability being brought to the edge rather than just at the data center, 
so that these tokens that we're generating, the trillions of tokens that are going to get generated, can now happen everywhere. What do I mean by the edge? I mean a branch office. I mean a store. I mean a factory floor. I mean a coffee shop. Anywhere where these people who are working in those edge locations need access to technology, but don't really have the sophistication of an IT staff in that branch location or in that edge location, what we've done is we've made inferencing at the edge plug and play. And that's what we're announcing today. And to talk more about this, I've got um, Jeremy Foster, who actually runs our Unified Compute Services, or UCS business. That's going to tell you a little bit more about it. So Jeremy, take it away. Thanks, G2. It's all about our customers. And they're the ones that have dealt with challenges at the edge for many years. And they're the ones that have inspired us to take this next step. They came to us with a clear challenge. We need to take all the power inside the data center. We need all that flexibility and agility, but we need to bring it closer to where the business actually happens. From manufacturing floors to ports, hospitals, they all need to run, and they need to run AI anywhere. But they need to do it securely, efficiently, and at massive scale. These conversations have shaped every decision we've made as we've built this platform. And our customers didn't ask us just for the product, they asked us to design the end-to-end -end solution. And that brings us to today. G2, I know we've been talking about it for a long time, so it might not be a surprise to you, but I am so excited to be here right now to unveil something that is fundamentally changing how we think about compute beyond the data center. The Cisco Unified Edge is the industry's first edge platform where we're bringing together compute, storage, security, observability. Oh, and one thing we can do better than anybody else, integrating networking into one system. And the Cisco Unified Edge is where AI is going to meet the front lines of the enterprise. It takes everything that's complex about running these edge locations at scale, but makes it super simple, scalable, and secure. See, for way too long, our customers have been forced to stitch together compute, network, storage, all these fragmented solutions from all these different vendors just to run a workload outside the data center. That means these locations are rigid, complex, costly, and super expensive to maintain. So that is why we built the Cisco Unified Edge, because we're changing that. There's three pillars that our customers tell us really matter the most, not just for the edge of today, but for the edge over the next 10 years which is performance, simplicity, and trust. And we're not just bringing compute to the edge. We built an entire platform, bringing together compute and storage. We're pulling in networking because that's what Cisco is the best at. And we're bringing observability and security at every layer of the stack. Let's start with that first pillar, performance. An AI-ready edge platform is built for real-world demands. This means it has to be modular, scalable, has to be a serviceable chassis that's designed to grow with you and your business over the next 10 years. And each compute node supports CPUs, which can be great for inferencing, but if you need the horsepower, we can bring GPUs into any of these servers that you see inside Unified Edge. So you can start small, you can scale, and you can adapt as your demands of your business change over the next decade. So what about networking? Well, we started inside this modular chassis with a redundant 25 gig network backplane. So all these servers can talk to each other and perform just like they do inside the data center. It's really important for those clustered applications that are going to meet the demands that the ISVs are pushing down on our customers to deliver on those AI use cases. And then what about connectivity from edge back to the cloud or back to the other data centers? That's where we've taken a Cisco 8200 series router and built it into a different form factor that goes right into the chassis. So you get all the benefits of an industry leading platform like the 8200 series, the SASE, firewall, et cetera, built right in. And you can deploy this entire system, network and compute from the cloud, and then operate it with your networking team and your compute team today, as most of our customers do. And the next thing that we bring, maybe the most important thing, simplicity. With unified operations from day zero deployments, to data in operations. So with Cisco Intersight, deploying and managing Cisco Unified Edge is very simple. And it's the same operating model you use inside your data center. We've now just extended that to the edge. 
IT can remotely configure devices. We've built Cisco blueprints that pull together all your favorite application settings, and we can deliver those to be installed directly on the Cisco Unified Edge. No staging sites, no local IT teams required. Just tap, claim, the system is online. So from a single site to thousands of sites, every deployment stays consistent, secure, and always up to date. So unboxing this platform and bringing it online takes minutes, not days. And the magic doesn't stop there. Every Cisco Unified Edge system, whether you have one site or a thousand sites, it's automatically configured, updated, and kept consistent through the Cisco InterSight Cloud. Speaking of security, we have fused it in every layer of this platform, starting from inside the server, moving on to the chassis and all the physical things that need to happen, including a locking bezel that can protect you from somebody getting at the servers in front of the system or unplugging your power when it's the worst time for you. Even includes things like a filter to keep all those particulates in the air away from the system so it can run uninterrupted for years. But equally as important, we apply zero trust to every access, humans, machines, AI agents, and assess real-time identity and risk for dynamic segmentation. We even make sure that your AI models running on the system don't go off script with AI defense. Of course, all this innovation can't happen alone. We have built this platform working with some of the best folks in the industry, including NVIDIA and Intel, to help us innovate from a hardware perspective but at the same time, working with a lot of the software providers that are gonna make it easy for you to operate these systems at the edge. Super excited, Chris, that you could join us. We're here with a good friend, Chris Marriott from NVIDIA. And you know, we're talking about edge in the Cisco Unified Edge. Our partnership has been uh, really deep over the last, uh, even, even back as far as five to 10 years ago, but especially recently, uh, all the way from like our reference architectures through networking and GPU accelerated compute and all of the UCS appliances now. So as we know, training has been an incredibly hard workflow up until now at very large scale. But really what's next is how we disaggregate uh, inference, which is really becoming the next challenging part. Now with uh, pieces like NVIDIA Dynamo, we're starting to disaggregate inference into two different workloads. And so we get to now the opportunity to take that inference and bring it to the edge and then combine everything with what you guys have built with Cisco uh, Unified Edge Platform uh, with all the security and really starting to um, uh, close the gap on the uh, trust deficit I think that we see in AI to be able to now take action on all of the insights uh, in these edge devices. For example, uh, at the edge, there's a big uh, need for security, not only just uh, uh, AI security, but physical security of these appliances. And I think that's really what we've seen in the new Cisco Unified Edge platform is that all of those things coming together to really provide just an incredible solution uh, out at the edge. I am here with Christina Rodriguez from Intel. And you know, we've been working together for a long time in this partnership, and we're now tackling a new area together you know, out at the edge. So thank you for being here. Jeremy, thank you for having me. Congratulations on the launch, fantastic work. Now the edge is transforming enterprise computing. You need to have a scalable, flexible compute, and that could be a CPU, that could be an accelerator, really. Um, but we're very happy that uh, we have proven that you can do a lot of the AI workloads you can actually run in native using the CPU native inferencing capabilities of our Xeon products. And that's fantastic from the total cost of, of uh, ownership, fantastic for the flexibility, everything that you can do, the simplicity of it. The other thing that is very important is the, the ecosystem. We have worked for a very long time, we have worked with our partners, system integrators, enterprise, telcos and we know that that is a fundamental piece of it. We're providing things that do worker safety, uh, inventory management, and anomaly detection, solving real problems, but it's the software community creating those applications, solving those problems. And the very cool thing that we're doing together is this uh, catalog that, uh, that is being put together with ISV's applications that are gonna run pre-verified ISV applications that are gonna run in the Cisco Unified Edge platform. 
That is fantastic. That is, as I said before, re-architecting the edge. All right, and when we think about how all this comes together for our customers, Cisco's unified edge is designed to not only drive impact, but to be part of this edge ecosystem that all of our customers are building for their business. Especially in industries like retail, healthcare, manufacturing, where they're generating data and acting upon it in real time. Now, one of those companies that's leading this transformation is Rockwell Automation. And they are pioneering how AI and automation come together to reshape manufacturing. But don't take it from me, let's hear it directly from their CEO, Blake Moret. I'm Blake Moret, Chairman and CEO of Rockwell Automation. When we talk about moving from automation to autonomy in production environments, we're really talking about a whole different paradigm where in the past a machine when it was commissioned on the factory floor was at its most performant on the day that it passed commissioning. But now, with artificial intelligence, you can actually see these machines learn and to become even more performant as time goes on. So what are the actual changes in a control environment that enable a manufacturer to maximize their competitiveness on the plant floor and at the edge? So beginning with the sensor, the use of artificial intelligence to process vision images, for instance, at the control layer, both for fixed automation that's served by PLCs and distributed control systems, but also mobile automation, such as what we have on board with our autonomous mobile robots, and then of course in the information management software. And each of these on their own incorporate artificial intelligence, but where you get the real benefit is when you combine this and integrate it in a cohesive system that uses agents to be able to optimize the value that you're getting in these manufacturing processes. Edge computing requires an integrated platform approach where the compute, the networking, and of course the security all come together. So as we look at end-to-end -end visibility in your networks and you see that in a distributed system that might span multiple locations, obviously that networking throughput to be able to have IT-like experiences for managing the security on the plant floor, all those are really important. A CTO once told me that uh, being able to send data from the car that you're driving to the cloud to tell you when it's time to change your oil is great, but if you're in an accident and you need to deploy an airbag, you want that loop to be closed on site, in this case, at the edge. That is an awesome story. And thanks to Rockwell Automation for being such a great partner on this platform. But they're just one of many partners and ISVs we're working with to support this edge ecosystem. And I gotta say, I am super excited with what we have created and all the work that the team has poured into this over the last couple of years. And we really would encourage you to take some time to learn more. You can check out that QR code that's on your screen right now, link up with your Cisco representatives, and figure out how Cisco Unified Edge can help you and your business operate a lot more securely, operate more efficiently, and ultimately save money, time, and effort in deploying these AI-ready edge locations.